Hey out there to everybody watching. If you don't know me personally, my name is Dr. Mike Danelia. I'm a general dentist in the Detroit area of Michigan, coming to you from the second day of April. And right now we're in sort of still the early period of the COVID pandemic. So a lot of dental offices have uh, found themselves in a tough position, having to close their doors entirely to patient care. Uh, and that's their choice. But there's some of us out there who still are wanting to lessen the ER burden. And we want to try to see as many of these emergency patients as we can to try to keep them out of the already overloaded ERs. However, we are finding it difficult to find the proper PPEs that we need to see these patients as safely as possible. So some of us have been turning to homebrew solutions and I wanted to offer my input as to uh, some solutions we might be able to create to safely see these patients uh, the best we can and to try to uh, keep uh, the burden away from the ER. I've put together a list of materials you're gonna need to create the best possible PPE scenario so that you and your staff can see these emergency patients uh, as safely as you can. The first of which, and this is most important, is a solid N95 respirator mask. We were able to get a small batch of these, a box of 35 from our uh, dental supply rep, so I hope you guys can get a small amount of these diverted to your practice because honestly, without these N95 respirators, I don't think it's going to be reasonable to see these patients as uh, smoothly and uh, safely as we can. So in addition to that, you're also going to want to use just your regular everyday ear loop mask, category one, category three, doesn't matter as much because we're gonna use this mainly to hold our uh, face shield. A couple of items needed that you can pick up locally, the first of which is some 3M medical tape. For me, I picked this up at my local pharmacy. I used uh, 3M Next Care. Now, one thing I found that's important when you check the uh, back of the box, make sure that you get a type that has a strong hole to it. That way we can make sure that we can maintain a really, really good seal between the N95 and the skin on our face. We're gonna use that to uh, tape up the margins all the way to our face and make sure that we can uh, keep out respiratory secretions the best that we can. Another thing that you're gonna wanna pick up from your local office supply store is some transparency film. The kind that I got is from the Apollo brand. I got this from my local Staples and I got curbside delivery on it so I didn't have to really go into the store and talk to anybody. Um, and basically you can use this uh, film here and we're gonna show you on a template that you can cut out a shape and uh, conform that to your ear loop mask. And a couple of items that you'll need that you're gonna have around the house, the first of which is a stapler and the other is a pair of scissors. We're gonna use these to, to cut the film and to mount it onto our ear loop mask. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use the template that's uh, posted in the link in the description below. We're gonna use this template on a, just a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Uh, you can print this from the file that's posted or if you're cheap like me and don't own your own printer, uh, you can just hold this up to the computer screen and trace it onto here. So once you've got your template, you're gonna grab one of your transparency films. We're gonna overlay that right on top of our template here. And we're gonna go through and we're gonna trace the outline here. Now, we got our template transferred to our transparency film. We're gonna start to cut it. And there's our shield cut out of the transparency film. So now the last order of business with the face shield is to go ahead and affix our shield to our ear loop mask. We're gonna staple this at four spots, two along the sides here, and this is to the outside of the mask, by the way, two along the sides and then two toward the top corners here. Another thing we found that can be helpful to get a little bit better protection around the sides of our faces is to put a bit of a crease into both of them. Depending on the thickness of the film, you may need to push a bit harder, make that crease a bit better to find. Now once that's creased, you see that there's gonna be a little bit better protection around the sides of the head. This is just gonna to conform to our temples just a little bit better. Okay, so now it's time to suit up. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our N95, throw both the loops on, we're gonna have one loop go over the top of our ears. The lower one's gonna go behind the neck. Before we do anything else, we're gonna work on the seal here the best we can using the mask itself. So we're gonna try to adapt it to the bridge of our nose and our cheekbones the best we can. 
follow that around to the underside of the chin. For me personally, this is where I feel the most leakage. So we're gonna turn to our tape next to try to seal off some of these openings here. We're gonna first uh, use a piece of tape to adhere the top side of the mask. Start at the bridge of the nose. Make sure you can try to get the tape half on the mask and half on the skin. Really kind of work that down. And this is handled best if you can use your assistant or teammate at your office to uh, help you to uh, get this into place. But for the sake of demonstration, we're gonna try to do this here, one man. And they're gonna use another piece of tape to fix the underside to our lovely COVID beards that we have growing right now. So I've been starting at the middle of the mask underneath the chin and I'm working that along the edge here. Bring that up on the cheekbone there. Get a good mounting point. Same thing on the other side. Work that up the edge of the mask. Really kind of work that tape around. Rub it in. Make sure that we can get good proper seal. This is the most important part. Next, we're gonna put on either our glasses or our loops, whatever you use. I found that it's pretty important to go ahead and flip our overhead light upwards. This is gonna help to prevent, sorry, the cable's being screwy. It's gonna help to prevent the face shield from sticking out too far. And it's gonna also help to make sure that we don't get a large amount of glare coming right off the uh, off the light here and bouncing off of the shield and back onto our eyes. So this is the part, and I don't know why this cable's going this way. That's a little better. So now eyewear's in place. Now we're gonna throw on our homebrew face shield, mounted on our traditional ear loop mask. We're gonna throw that on behind the ears. Get this situated. Not gonna get as good of a seal with this one because it's not designed for that, but this is gonna help to hold the face shield up across our face, help prevent splatter from hitting our face. And that N95 underneath is gonna help to make sure that we don't uh, breathe in any particles. We're gonna wanna use this in adjunction to basically a cap that goes on over the head as well as a disposable gown. And that's gonna give us a pretty good PPE scenario here so we can treat our patients the best we can and as safely as possible. So to all of our dental homies out there who are answering the call this time of need right now, helping to reduce the burden on our already overly stressed ER system, I thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful for you and your teams to be able to get out there and to help your patients uh, as safely as possible. I wish you and your families all the best and all the health that we can possibly muster at this time of need. We'll talk to you soon when we get out of this. Take care.